Hello there everyone, and welcome to the 14th episode of TPL Approval Season 8. Me and my mom have just came back from our night out at home bargains. And this time, we went over to see some more Halloween decorations, and guess what? I have saw some very new Halloween stuff up for sale in home bargains. In there, I bought myself a big pumpkin that glows in the dark. And I also have bought a spooky doorbell that has a skeleton skull on it with its mouth open. And if you push the red button at the bottom of the bell, the skeleton's tongue comes out and goes back in, which is very funny. And after I saw that, I thought that it looked super cool, so yeah, that's why I bought it. And then I also bought a new decoration for my grass at my front yard, which is a tombstone that has a picture of three skeletons and the writing on it. And finally, I have bought some chocolate, which is basically a skeleton sarg, and in it has a chocolate eyeball. Chocolate Halloween stuff, etc. But when I was at the till of home bargains, there was this lady with light gray hair that wanted to take a look at the doorbell. So she asked my mom if she could see it, and then she said, go on ahead. And so, she started to push the red button. And, guess what happened to our shopkeeper of home bargains? She literally just got jump scared by the skeleton's tongue sticking out to her finger. Oh my god, we laughed really hard, this is literally one of the best things I have ever seen in 2024. Oh, and I also forgot to mention this, I also bought some Halloween stickers. And for the stickers, I decorated my own phone with Halloween stickers, and I will love to show you it. And the stickers I added on my phone were a ghost, two bats, two pumpkins, a witch's hat, a Halloween candy cane, and a black cat. And yeah, that was my story about my night out at home bargains. So anyways, for today's approval, this is going to be my first approval on Romaine 59. And this is gonna be on his commentary on Leah the Suicide Baiter's commentary on Foxy the Fox 110 the TPL fan's response on her quote-unquote, Dark Truth video on Alan Crozen. And in this approval, I am portraying as this woman with long black hair wearing a creepy black goth-like clothes and cloak. So without further ado, let us now begin the approval, off we go. This is my first commentary video about Leah, and today, it will be on her commentary on Foxy's commentary about the dark truth about Alan Crozen, also uploaded by Leah. This video will suck, right? It's because she keeps lying about Alan Crozen and Foxy the Fox 110 the TPL fan. Yeah, and not only that, but they also slander Foxy the Fox 110 the TPL fan to by slandering her as a criminal, pedophile, dog abuser, racist, etc. when she is not those type of categories. Anyways, let's start this commentary. I will skip the intro because that intro is really bad and also because it contains some copyrighted music. Leah, you should learn that you are not supposed to use copyrighted music in your videos. That's called copyright infringement and you can get sued for that. Great. Just freaking great. Looks like Foxy the Tree in a rip and 2.0 decided to make a response on me. And she cannot handle the truth about Alan Crozen. Listen here. She did that commentary because you keep cyberbullying Pola, Foxy the Fox and more people. That does it. I will do a commentary on her. But anyways, let's get this crap over with. Wow, you're such a hypocrite. You keep bashing other people's opinions for no reason and you said that you'll handle other people's opinions, which also makes you an immature. Yeah, she even claims that she handles opinions, but yet she bashes opinions on people who like Foxy, me, Oswaldo, plus many others by using the cut ties with this user term and the don't trust this user term to bash opinions. And not only that, but she also adds the word, advice as an excuse about bashing someone's opinions on the user they like. What the hell? Why did you tell Foxy the Fox to shut up? You should know that telling someone to shut up is very rude. And this also proves that she cannot handle Foxy speaking, which she has the rights to speak, because it is part of the freedom of speech, 
according to the human rights. I do not want to hear that them excuse you nonconformist idiot. Now go get a punk ass locked up inside of a school lock up for 10 days you conclusion jumper. GRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR